We begin tonight with a lawsuit filed against True Bethel Baptist Church and its pastor, Darius Pridgen, containing allegations of sexual abuse on several different occasions in the year 2020. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. We are the only television station the pastor himself spoke with this afternoon and our Claudine Ewing has the details of what's in that lawsuit and uh, Pridgen's response. Claudine. This is the 18 page lawsuit naming Darius Pridgen and True Bethel Baptist Church alleging sex abuse. The plaintiff is a woman in her late 40s, lives in Buffalo. We're not naming the woman because she claims to be a victim. The woman alleges that she was sexually abused and it happened in 2020 after church on approximately seven occasions. The case was filed under the Adult Survivors Act. The claim is that Bishop Pridgen engaged in unpermitted sexual conduct with the plaintiff. The woman claims to be a parishioner and volunteer at the church. And now Pridgen is speaking out about the case that came as a surprise. Do you know the woman and are any of the allegations true? Yeah, you know, I, I committed 12 years ago when I ran and I have always been very, very open about anything, whether it's from the council to the church. Um, I still to this moment have not been served anything. Every attorney who is watching right now is like, you shouldn't say anything. But everything in me who has worked all of these years in a place from integrity says, yes, you should. Because at the end of the day, if you haven't done anything wrong, you have no reason to now be silent. I would, it was COVID. There was no church. I'm being accused by somebody that I never remember meeting, but definitely, definitely uh, from what I'm being told is said, never participate in anything like that ever. He calls the claims baseless. Has any woman ever approached you or said any of these things and I mean, what do you take of this? And what do you think is behind it if it's not true? Where do you think you know, this is I don't, I, I, I don't know, and I'm not gonna make a judgment against anybody who has made an accusation because accusations are real. According to the plaintiff's attorney, as alleged in the complaint, my client was subjected to prolific abuse that has altered her life forever. This lawsuit is the first step toward healing and justice, and we are thankful for the Adult Survivors Act. It's just not true. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.